Okay, so Barley's a bartender, but how good is he really at making drinks? I mean, they deal damage? I guess alcohol's not the most healthy thing for you to drink anyway, but Barley's drinks, man, they can, they can knock you out in one go. Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Carlos Time, and it is time to brawl. Now today, we're going to be talking about Barley. We'll start off with a quick rundown of his mechanics, go into an in-depth look at his stats, and then cover all the best modes and maps for you to play with him to push him up to 500 trophies and beyond, as well as give you some epic tips to really master your Barley gameplay. We'll also give you some good tips on how to counter a Barley if he ends up at your bar and is trying to serve you up something nasty. If there are other brawlers that you want me to do a guide like this on, then make sure you drop it in the comment section below and subscribe so you do not miss that video when it drops. Okay, so the first thing you need to know is if you do not have Barley, it is really easy for you to get him for free. All you have to do is connect Supercell ID and it will give you the Wizard Barley skin for free and unlock him if you don't already own him. For Barley's main attack, Undiluted, Barley throws out a bottle of some dangerous liquid drink that immediately spills onto the ground when it lands. Because Barley can throw his attack it gives him a unique advantage on maps with lots of walls when facing brawlers that cannot throw with their attack. His attack covers a decent radius and produces two ticks of damage, which makes his attack better for controlling parts of the map rather than actually dealing damage quickly. His attacks do stack, meaning that if you do throw down three quick attacks in the same spot, they will do up to six ticks of damage. And if it lands so that multiple targets are actually in that location, then it will deal damage to all brawlers there. For Barley Super, last call, he throws out five balls bottles of an especially dangerous drink which each deal several ticks of damage. The further he throws them, the more spread out they will land, which increases map control, but decreases concentration of damage. If you use Barley Super in the spot right next to Barley, all five bottles will land in that same spot and deal enough damage to take out any brawler in the game if they happen to be caught up in the mess. At max level, Barley unlocks medical use, which is his star power. And what that means is that for every time he attacks, he also heals up a very small amount of HP. Most brawlers will actually benefit from falling back so that they can heal up before they get taken out. But Barley's star power actually allows him to stay in the fight longer without having to fall back as frequently. Barley's star power is pretty good and worth getting, but there are other other brawlers out there with even better star powers that I would recommend focusing on first. Now let's actually take a look at Barley's stats and compare them to every other brawler in the game. As you can see, his lowest rank is actually HP, where he ties for lowest with several other brawlers as far as health goes. His attack is actually on the lower end of the spectrum, and while he lacks that damage output, he definitely makes up for it with control, which is not taken into consideration with this graph. Barley has a slow movement speed with the majority of other brawlers in the game, and his reload speed speed is average, but where Barley really thrives is his long range, where he can actually control the field from a distance, and also how few attacks are required for him to charge up his super. As the game is balanced right now, Barley can charge up his super with only three attacks as long as all, all of them deal both ticks of damage. And for a super as devastating as Barley's, you can see that that is exactly where his strength lies. For Barley's ease of use, I would rank him at a 2 out of 5, meaning that he's not a super easy brawler for you to pick up, but he's not the hardest brawler for a new player to pick up. For his skill cap, I would rank him at a 4 out of 5. Now, Barley's main attack is one of the worst to auto-aim with in the game. The reason is because if you auto-aim it, then it will be fired with the center of the attack where the enemy was when you originally fired. And because there is travel distance, this means that players can just keep on walking in one specific direction and completely avoid the attack by the time that it lands. It's much better for you to manually aim where you think the enemy is going to be by the time the attack actually lands. The exception to this is if a brawler is right at your feet at this case you can use auto aim especially if they're like right on top of you because it's very difficult for barley to actually manually aim directly underneath him but even then it can actually be better for you to manually aim his attack even in that type of a situation and i would actually recommend never auto aiming his super even if there is a brawler really up close to you and i'll talk about this a little bit later but the last two bottles that he throws out actually are furthest away from barley so if you do auto aim it and they're just running right towards you then you will you'll miss out on damage. There are two other reasons why Barley's skill cap is higher than other brawlers. Uh, first of all, he has really low HP, and then the other reason is that the success of playing Barley very well is based on an, a player's ability to predict where the enemy player will move 
and attacked accordingly. Now let's go ahead and talk about the best modes and best maps to play Barley in. As you can see right there, Barley's best modes are going to be Heist, Gem Grab, and Duo Showdown, but more important than that is the fact that Barley especially thrives on maps with lots of walls. If you want to push Barley and there aren't any events going on at the moment where there are lots of walls, you'd actually probably be better off focusing on pushing another brawler and waiting until a more suitable map comes available. Let's go ahead and quickly cover the maps that I would recommend playing in it. For showdown maps, I would recommend playing Barley on Hot Maze, Rockwall Brawl, and Skull Creek. You definitely want to make sure that you are being as careful as you possibly can to try to avoid confrontation. You want to avoid getting close to enemy brawlers because they'll be able to take you out really quickly. For Gem Grab, I would recommend playing Barley on Chill Cave, Death Cap Cave, Deep Siege, and Flooded Mine. Gem Grab is all about controlling the center, and with Barley, that's no exception. You want to try and key, use the wide range of his attacks to try and keep people from getting to the center gem mine and help protect your gem carrier. Once again, very important for you to use walls. And if there aren't enemy players on your side of the map, you absolutely can try to push up just a little bit to try and keep the enemy team at bay. Barley is definitely an incredibly strong brawler for heist and you can play him decently on any map in heist, but he's especially good on bandit stash, cactus corridor, fancy fencing, and safe zone. When you're playing Barley and Heist, it's not so much about control as it is about pushing the enemy team back. You want to play a very slow early game with Barley where you're just throwing off attacks and falling back and just doing a little bit of damage until you build up your super. Once you have built up your super, you have two options. Either to save it to try and actually deal an insane amount of damage on the enemy safe, or to use it thrown over a wide part of the map that will give your team an opportunity to really push the enemy team back and get closer to the safe as a whole. Okay guys, now let's go ahead and talk about some advanced Barley tech and strategy. And while we really break down his super and talk about some other really solid tips to help you maximize your Barley gameplay. Barley super is thrown out in a pattern that matches the five side of a dice. Now the first attack is always the middle one. And then he throws out the two that are closest to him. And then he throws out the two that are furthest from him. The two that are closest to him may actually land before the first bottle that he throws, just simply because the distance traveled is actually shorter. One other very important thing for you to realize is that it actually takes time for Barley to throw out his super and you can still move while he is throwing it. Even if you move while the super is being thrown out, the shots will still land in the designated area even if you move out of range. And the reason why this matters is because the time that it takes for the shots to land actually depends on the distance traveled for that attack. So if you are walking away from the super, you can actually increase that time, meaning that his super will be on the map for a longer period of time. Not all of his super, but part of it will be, which increases the duration of the control that you're gonna get from your super. But if you move toward the target location while he is throwing it, then that will decrease the amount of time that it takes for those bottles to travel. So this does two things. First of all, it actually decreases the amount of time that the enemy team will have to try and run away from the super, and it will actually increase the burst potential of your super. So it definitely is a trade-off in determining whether you want to try and have control over a longer period of time or if you actually want to be a little bit more burst damagey. One thing that really great players will do when they're facing against an enemy Barley that is throwing out his super is they will just be very careful in where they're walking because you can actually like be in between splatters and not take any damage at all. That's assuming that it was thrown at max distance. Ideally, you don't throw it out at max range every single time because you want the damage to be as concentrated as possible while still controlling the part of the map that you need to control. And that part of the map might be a specific choke point, it might be the gem mine, it might be a brawler that's either running toward you or running away from you. I guess the tip is to utilize Barley Super to balance damage uh, versus area control by adjusting how far away you're actually throwing it away from Barley. One other tip is regarding Barley's star power. You want to try and stay in battle for as long as you possibly can. And sometimes using that third shot of ammo just whenever you have it to heal up is actually pretty beneficial. I don't recommend just wasting an attack just to heal up if there's not an enemy brawler in your range because you'll heal up a lot faster if you just stop for a moment and then actually wait to get healed. But if you don't need that quick, fast regain of health, then it definitely is beneficial for Barley to just keep on using his attack so that his star power will heal him up. An example where this can be very beneficial is if he is actually being poisoned by Crow. For the amount of health that he heals up from three regular attacks will actually completely negate the poison that Crow's daggers will cause you. One of the best things that a really master Barley will do is they will know when they need to actually fall back to heal up 
or when they can actually stay and survive. If they have a nice wall that they can hide behind, then it makes it really beneficial for them to just keep on throwing down those attacks and play it safe so that they can stay in battle for as long as possible and keep the enemy team outside of important parts of the map. One last tip regarding Barley is that his biggest weakness is his very low HP. Well, there are some exceptions. Almost every single brawler can take Barley out in two to three hits. This means that you absolutely want to keep your distance and have some type of a wall if possible between you and the enemy team. But another really important thing is to just pay close attention to how far away an enemy brawler is. Before we end this video, let me just give you some quick tips on how to defeat an enemy Barley. It's important to recognize that most people that you'll be playing will not be using auto aim. If they are using auto aim, Lucky day for you because all you have to do is just run right toward them and the shots will land behind you as you just get up close to them and just take them out. But because Barley throws his attacks, he's a fairly easy brawler to juke. And at close range, he's actually one of the easiest for you to juke, with the exception of like maybe Dynamite, who has similar mechanics. Because most people will manually aim with Barley, they will often attack where they think you will move, as I suggested earlier in today's video. At lower trophies, people tend to lead the attacks in the exact direction that you are walking. And so one of the best and easiest things that you can do is just randomly switch your direction. You know, sometimes it'll make sense, sometimes it won't make sense, and you just switch up your direction so it'll actually completely waste a shot. A lot of times you can actually even get a Barley to completely waste their super by walking right up next to a Barley, and then making a complete 180 and turning around the opposite direction when you think they're about to throw it. Another big key to defeating an enemy Barley is to remove the advantages that he gets when he has walls on his side of the map. This can obviously be done by straight up just getting rid of the walls by clearing it with a super from Dynamite or Colt. But another thing that you can do is avoid those parts of the map where those walls give Barley an advantage. So you go out into the open area where Barley cannot actually reach you unless he comes around the wall so you can attack him. Another tip against Barley is that you do not want to feed his super. Obviously, this is important when you're playing against enemy brawler, but Barley especially has a very devastating super that can control a massive part of the map. So at all costs possible, you want to prevent getting hit by Barley, even if that means you can't actually deal damage to him. Sometimes all you have to do is just distract him long enough until your teammate can actually come and help you 2v1 on something like that. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on how to play and play against Barley. Once again, if there are other brawlers that you want to see, make sure you go ahead and put it in the comment section below and let me know. And then of course, subscribe so you don't miss out. Next time you have a friend tell you that they suck at Barley, just make sure you send them my way. I wanted to give a huge thank you to my YouTube and Patreon sponsors for helping support my channel in such a big way. And for now, this is Kairos time ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.